Hello, hello, Hero of Collectors here. How's it going, everybody? Hope you all are doing fantastic. Uh, I'm going to start out this video with two apologies. One, I'm sorry if I look very tired, possibly sweaty. I don't think I look that sweaty now, but I've had a long day. I've had a fun day. I actually just got back from roller skating, so I'm a little tired, a little sore, but I still want to talk to you guys. Uh, second apology. I meant to do a comic-con kind of haul wrap-up where i inserted a little bits of clips and photos that i got from the con that i went to last month and i never got the video edited i think uh, i'm going to insert me being home and showing off everything i got into this video in fact i think i'm going to do it right now okay guys um back home from the con uh i gotta say overall it's pretty good weekend uh, I don't think there were as many, like, good booths this year in terms of what I was looking for. Like, uh, every, I, this, I would say probably in the past year, I've been getting more into reading and collecting comics. Like, I, I used to, I used to, I, I collected comics, you know, bought trades and whatever, and I would just kind of do it willy-nilly. I wasn't 100% sure what I had. And actually, recently, I cataloged everything I had. In the hopes that at the con I could find, you know, like the the really cool bins of one dollar comics or the half off trades or the five dollar trade, you know, like the the stuff where you can really find a good deal. But there was only really one booth where I found good deals on comics, and there was only really one kind of two booths that were selling like Marvel Legends and figures I was looking for. The rest of them just kind of had random stuff, you know, not a ton geared towards me like last year i got a ton of stuff i got some black series i got legends i feel you know i got a lot of grails that were really important for my collection but this time it was just kind of you know there wasn't as much but i did get some stuff so uh speaking of the one dollar comics i got a nice little stack here uh let's see let's just go ahead and go through them i got captain america the man wolf kind of uh event for him i've Got a few of the other issues. I'm pretty sure this is one I don't have. Uh, 2013 Captain America run number... What is that? 24? Yeah, issue number 24. Uh, it's a series I only have a few issues of. Avengers Forever. This is actually a story I want to read here soon. And this is issue number 2. We got uh, the 2010 Avengers series. Issue number... 28. Sorry, it's backwards for me for filming so i can't quite see avengers versus x-men round four which is, means it's the yeah, issue four and round five and then we got the mighty avengers issue 11 11 uh, the dark avengers this is the 2015 2015 do i have that right 2014 some it's not the the traditional Norman Osborn Avengers, Dark Avengers that you know. There's that. Uh, that was what? That was issue 189. This is 184. So I actually had those out of order. Then Jonathan Hickman Avengers, which is a series that I do have a lot of gaps in, but I do have a lot of issues of. So there's 33 and 30. And what's on? Oh, 15. And... 16. <laughs> uh, Uncanny Avengers from 2015. I think this is the Deadpool one. So there's issue number three. Avengers Arena. Issue number two. Three. Seven. Ten. And 17. So yeah. One dollar comics. I really hit up that bin looking for stuff. There weren't many like Wolverines I was looking for. They had some Captain America stuff, and the ones I was looking for I got. And, of course, I got a lot of Avenger stuff, because I'm a very Avenger-centric guy. So I had to go with what I was looking for. So, in terms of comics, that's what I got. Uh, there was a booth that had some stickers. You got well, you could buy three for a dollar. And I, I've got a blank comic box right over here for my trades that I want to cover with some stickers. So here's, and I'm always angry, Hulk, Ben Riley, Scarlet Spider, and a very classic looking Hulk. So I got those to decorate the box. 
just to spice it up a little bit. And then I got some knockoff Lego. I know a lot of people don't really like those. I think they're cool because sometimes they can give me stuff that you know, Lego's not actually going to make. So uh, let's kick it off with some Matt Murdocks. Uh, I got... These aren't going to properly focus. Let's see. Uh, is there a way to fix that? No. Okay, so it's only going to focus in on me right now, sadly. But Netflix show, a Shadowland. This one, actually, I didn't buy. Uh, um, Brother-in-law was actually picking up a bunch, and they were 6 for 20 but... Or no, it was like buy five and get one free something like that uh so he said hey any others you want and i was looking this is the only one i saw that i wanted i think i'm actually going to make a pierce custom of this suit still but it's still cool to have uh, and then yeah classic comic first appearance which is a suit i'm still going to make in lego official with you know pierce custom but still fun to have and then the uh, She-Hulk show, Moon Knight, or not <laughs> Moon Knight, Daredevil, uh, I'm no longer going to be making this custom for in LEGO because this is far better than anything I could have made. So, and actually this Daredevil is replacing the old one I have because this helmet is far better and the printing on the torso is far better. So, yep, those are those. And then I got Moon Knight and a Mr. Knight, which... Again, for the same reason, I could not make a custom of these nearly as good as they turned out in these knockoff forms, so I think I'm just going to use these. Unless LEGO decides to make their own, which... Who knows? Who knows if they will? So I got those. And then the last two. Here is the Green Goblin in his glider. I mostly just got this for the glider, because that is, that is actually pretty sick, and I like that. And then I got the black suit, Spider-Man, because I have the Raimi, uh, I have the Raimi, I have the Andrew Garfield, uh, both in knockoffs like this, and I wanted to have the black suit too, so. And now for stuff that isn't from the con itself. Okay, so for a few things that I didn't pick up at the con, uh... The, uh, after the first night, which was Saturday, uh, we went, we were trying to figure out places to eat, and I was ki trying to kill some time, so we went to a GameStop that was in the area, and I got this guy. And uh, the Amazing Spider-Man, so the Andrew Garfield pop. They did have the Tom Holland ending costume, which is a pop I do want, but I'm, I was, I... I wanted to get him for sure, so I did. And then, yeah. They, okay, a little frustrating. I went to the GameStop. I was looking around, wasn't seeing a ton. I saw that guy, I was like, okay, I might have to get him. Continued looking around, got to the action figure section where they had like the le what few legends they had, Black Series and McFarlane and whatnot. I looked down and there is the Star Wars Black Series Orch, Gurch, the, the, the fourth member of the uh, uh, the Super Commandos, or the Clone Commandos. And I was like, oh, sick. I, he's here in person. I didn't know people were getting these, so I went to go buy him, and at the register it came up, pre-order. And the guy was like, yeah, I don't think I can sell this to you. I was like, great. Screwed over once again by street dates. In my opinion, if they have it in hand, they should be able to sell it to me. I hate that we can't do that, because that's just damn frustrating. <laughs> but, on a lighter note, uh, I ordered this from Amazon a few days ago, and I don't think I actually shared it on here before, but I bought this figure before, and when I got it in hand, it had been swapped and returned to Amazon, and then Amazon sold it to me was really pissed off but i got the gore 
Amazon exclusive figure. And I can confirm he's in here because I already opened the box before I filmed this just to make sure. So yeah, when I did this before, when I bought it before, what was in the box was a Savage Dragon figure and a, uh, a Terax build a figure piece. So that was really frustrating <laughs> to get instead of this guy because I actually really love gore in the comics and getting this figure is really awesome. So I can't wait to pose him around. And then the last thing, I actually didn't directly buy myself. My brother-in-law, who went to the con with us, he uh, he helps me every now and then get things. I think I've, on this very channel you've seen, or I, you've heard me talk about things that he's bought me and or hooked me up with, you know, just seeing in store or, or finding online. Well, he found a really, really good listing for the retro-carded Scarlet Spider figure. And he he knew it's one I, he knew it was one I was looking for, and he went ahead and bought it. And I can't thank him enough for hooking me up with this guy. Uh, so yeah, I I should still have to pay him back, but I will be paying him back. You know, he's my brother-in-law. I'm, I'm gonna see him again, so I have to, you know I'm gonna be paying him back. But I, I I really appreciate him for getting this for me. So and this is. This is one of the last few big grails missing from my collection. And one of two Spider-Mans that are already released that I want that I needed for my collection. So the, the last one that, again, is released is the all-new all-different suit. So, and I might just wait for that one to get like a redo on a new body or something. But this guy is awesome and i think i'm going to put the ben riley head on either the retro card spider-man ben riley or the upcoming spider-man beyond suit that's that just got announced recently so yeah i'm going to be posing this guy up and giving him his justice along with gore here and yeah uh lego figures now knock off lego figures to add to the collection and yeah, comic books, a pop figure. I, I'm part of me is glad that the con didn't have nearly as much stuff because, you know, if I had ended up seeing a bunch of things that I was wanting, I I couldn't have done it this year. Like I had a very limited budget for the con, so part of me is really glad that they didn't have a lot of what I was looking for. And part of me is also kind of, you know, it's a it's a bittersweet thing. But I am very happy with everything I do have. And, you know, once again, thank you to my brother in law for hooking me up this and this Daredevil figure. It was really cool. And, okay, so yeah, uh, that was everything I got while I was there. And I want to show you what I got today. So I was out and about, went to a few stores, and got some things. Uh, first off, I went to Target, uh, initially looking for the Marvel Legends Deluxe Groot that's been hitting. And they didn't have a single Marvel Legend there, which was kind of sad. I didn't even see pegs for them. So, bust there. Uh, they had some Transformers Legacy stuff. They had the uh, Leo Prime. They had a few of the others from the wave. No Tarn. No luck there. They had the Indiana Jones stuff. They had the whole wave, except for Indy. So, nothing there. But, I did get this. This is the first target I've found... But they have the clear, or not clear, but yeah, clear, the risers. So I got, I just got one, and I need to decide if I want to put this here on the X Men shelf right there, or down where you can't see with the Spider Man shelf. Because as you can see, it's eh, you can't see it's a decent size. It'll help like kind of break up the break up the display. So. I need to decide on that. I might do a poll on my Instagram to decide. But yeah, I got that at Target. Then I went to a Walmart and I came across the Marvel Legends across the Spider-Verse Spider-Man 2099. If you are following my Instagram and you watch my or check out my stories, you know that this is the only figure from the wave that I'm going to get right away. And so I did. Uh, others I'm waiting for a potential sale or I want to see the movie first before I decide on actually buying them or not. So 
you know, I got him while I could. And also while I was there, I came across the like uh, Power Rangers Lightning Collection Dino Thunder Yellow figure. I now just need Dino Thunder Black, and I complete the team, but he's not out yet. I do have him pre-ordered. Yeah, this is awesome. This is my, uh, you know, everybody has, like, their Ranger team. This is one of mine. This and MMPR are my two main ones. I think Ninja Storm is the other one. But I don't think they've done any of those. So, yeah, uh, I got her. And then I went to Half Price Books. And I turned in a lot of comic books that I had that were like doubles or just ones I wasn't going to read anytime soon and just didn't want. And I got some trade-in money. I actually bought a figure while I was there. Uh, this is the Black Suit Superman from the Man of Steel toy line. And uh, it kind of sucks that he doesn't have a cloth cape because uh, the... What is it, the Justice League Superman figure that I have that was that's off the same body has a cloth cape, but this is still I still really like this. And for you know like eight bucks, I, I you can't go wrong there. So uh, <laughs> packaging's a little busted up, but it's not it's still sealed. It's not been he's not been removed. He's got a few scuffs, but otherwise he, he's looking good. So. I'm happy to add him. I'm. I, I kind of. I want him to be kind of. I. I don't know what I'm doing with my DC stuff. And I think that was a figure I had my eye on there for a while. So. It's nice to have it, and it was. It was. It was. It was I'm fumbling my words. It was cheap, so I don't feel too bad spending the money on it. But then I also I bought some books. I bought some books. Well, I was a half price books. Who'd have guessed it? So, uh, starting off, we got What If Age of Ultron. If you know me, I love Ultron. I love Ultron to death. So, I have not read this book. I've seen images, some of the artwork that's inside of it. You know, uh, it's got a lot of uh, MCU Iron Man armor-based Ultrons looking in it. Let's see if I can find an example. Oh, come on. Yeah, like, like that, right there. That's uh, based on the Mark V, for sure. But, no, like, in the cover, too. It's the Mark V. But yeah. That's gonna be a fun read. Uh, Injustice, Gods Among Us, Year 2. Here's this Year 2, Volume 2. Something like that. Uh, yep, it's Year 2, Volume 2. I wish I would've read that a little bit closer. But still, uh... It's another chapter in the Injustice storyline, and I, I want to read more of it, because I really love those games, and getting to know the full story would be really awesome. Uh, here we have Hulk by Donny Cates. Uh, this is the Smastronaut first volume. I've been keeping up with the Hulk series, and I'm, I'm not loving it, but I think it's still pretty fun. So, I've been keeping up with it. I like the artwork. I think it's unique. So, seeing this for that cheap, I definitely had to have it. And then this is... This is one I, I've read, but I've never owned. And... Uh, it's, it's a good one. I really love this one. It's Captain America, The Winter Soldier. Yeah, if you know me, I love me some Captain America. I love The Winter Soldier both MCU and comic based so having this this is really cool I think this is yeah it's volume one of the Winter Soldier story so that's really cool to have and then this I've heard some not so great things and I'm really unsure how soon I want to read this because of that but it's part of a chapter of stories that I do want to read and say that I've read and really come to my own conclusions but here is the Dark Knight Strikes Again yeah this is only a couple bucks so I didn't feel too bad about getting it but again I've heard some not so great things but that is everything I got so three figures 
five books, and then everything that you saw from about a month ago. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. Uh, I'm going to try and, you know, do more videos like this. I hope you enjoy them. You know, they're very casual. They're very easy for me to edit, but I also like it because it's very real. It's I like to ramble. I like to talk, and I just like to be one-on-one -on -one with you guys. So I imagine you can probably tell I'm tired now, but I will talk to you all in another video, another post.